Hey everyone, welcome back to the Encrypted Capital Recap for Thursday, February 11th. Uh, first off, I wanted to dive into the Grayscale Investment Trust. Uh, I did mention this the other day when you guys were looking for suppressed assets. If you wanted an easy way to make some money, you guys could replicate their investment portfolio. They have over here uh, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Horizon, uh, which I haven't heard of, uh, Litecoin, Stellar Lumens, XRP, Zcash, and all of those um, that we mentioned the other day were uh, Zcash and Ethereum Classic and Bitcoin Cash. Those started to move heavily and those are where we stuffed some of our profits from that massive tell gain. And uh, up here I have Tron as well. We talked about that the other day, breaking out of that accumulation range is now trading at just under five cents, up about 6% for the day. Also going into Zcash, massive, massive move up from $90 when we discussed it all the way up to $146. That is a very nice gain. Next up, we have Ethereum Classic, also made a similar move. Uh, we have it going from roughly $7.50 when we discussed it up to $11.62. So that was an easy way to make some extra gains. Again, we also have Bitcoin Cash uh, that was trading at about $400 when we mentioned it. it is now up to $529 for over a 20% gain. So you guys can find those suppressed assets and just mimic exactly what Grayscale is doing. If you don't want to do any work, you guys can just use them. Next up, we have America's oldest bank, BNY Mellon, will custody Bitcoin. It says the chief executive of the bank's asset servicing business says digital assets are becoming part of the mainstream. No kidding. We have Mellon coming out. We have MasterCard coming out. We have Tesla coming out. We have Apple coming out all in the same week. As mentioned before, do your own research, but it would be a good idea if you were still in Bitcoin to sell into the hype. It is going to pass or is about to hit $50,000. Now everybody's going to think they're a genius for getting in on it when people like Elon Musk and Snoop Dogg start talking about it. In my opinion, you should have been finding those suppressed assets that we mentioned the other day. Also, I want to thank that gentleman or group of people that told us about Dent yesterday while I was a little late to the party getting into it after we finished that video yesterday, my partner went ahead and bought some dent and he is up almost 100% on his money. So thank you guys for bringing that to our attention. That is called karma. We help you guys, you help us. So thank you very much. We can see dent right now up 60% since yesterday. That is amazing. Let's take a look at the chart. That is a very nice chart. As mentioned, we always like to buy when things are flat. All the way back here is where you should have been accumulating and finding these suppressed assets. As mentioned, we relate to the party, but it looks like it still has a lot of gas left in the tank to make a crazy move. But please do your own research. This is not financial advice. We got Bitcoin's big moment. MasterCard jumps on the bandwagon. As mentioned before, all these big companies are here. They are now telling you they are in the game. They are now getting everybody on board who has thought about getting into Bitcoin. They are now going to be jumping in the game. And guess what? Most likely these billionaires will be selling to the retail traders. So as my opinion, you should be finding these suppressed assets. It says the company announced last Wednesday that it will, I'm sorry, not last Wednesday, late Wednesday, that it will support select cryptocurrencies directly on its network at some point later this year. They say our philosophy on cryptocurrencies is straightforward. It's about choice. An executive vice president at MasterCard said, MasterCard isn't here to recommend you start using cryptocurrencies but we are here to enable customers, merchants, and businesses to move digital value, traditional or crypto, however they want. Although MasterCard was short on details about how customers will be able to use Bitcoin, the company said it would work something like this. When someone wants to buy an item with cryptocurrency, MasterCard's crypto partners will convert the digital currency into traditional currency and then transmit them over MasterCard's network. As mentioned in previous videos, MasterCard is not just doing this because they think it's a good idea. They are doing this because this has been the plan all along. Cryptocurrencies will be implemented in the mainstream as we continue on 2021. Next up, how crypto adoption companies like Visa, PayPal, and Tesla is creating a network effect. Yes, they are getting all of the retail traders on who have missed out into cryptocurrencies. Find those suppressed assets says amid the cryptocurrency market surge of the past six months the consensus narrative is that unlike in 2017 when bitcoin mania was driven by retail investors and hype this cycle is about institutional investment 
says what people mean when they talk about institutions in this context is Wall Street investment firms and indeed a slew of well-known firms like ARK Invest have poured into crypto investment vehicles like the Grayscale, Bitcoin, Trust, and a parade of influential hedge funds heads like Paul Tudor Jones, Stan Drunkenmiller, and Bill Miller have bought into Bitcoin. It says, but the institutions that may prove the most pivotal to broad crypto adoption are the publicly traded tech and payment companies that are now finally warming to crypto. Most likely, they have already had their position set. PayPal has probably had their position set. Tesla has probably had their position set. By the time they actually let the public know about it, they have already been in a huge accumulation range, most likely. Also talks about Square, announcing earlier in October that it bought 4,000 Bitcoins at a cost of $50 million as an investment for its balance sheet. Big mainstream companies are just now starting to let you know that they are in the game. So you must find what they are not talking about. That is where you will make a killing. We also talked about Tron the other day. This article says crypto mogul bets on meme investing with millions in GameStop. Justin Sun, the 30-year-old crypto entrepreneur who bought $10 million worth of GameStop Corp at the height of its Reddit-fueled rally, is predicting a paradigm shift in investing as younger people swarm into financial assets. In my opinion, that was a terrible move. Why would you buy all of that hype in GameStop? This guy is a billionaire. Why would you just throw your money away and buy something at an all-time high? That is a little suspicious to me. As mentioned, I have the contrarian mindset and I like to look at things from the other side. I do not understand why a gentleman like this would go ahead and do something that stupid. He says, speaking the same week, Elon Musk announced he put $1.5 billion of Tesla Inc.'s cash in Bitcoin. Sun said that a new type of internet-driven investing would benefit cryptocurrencies as well as shares of companies that are able to understand and latch onto meme culture. Sun said he prepared to hold onto his GameStop shares that he purchased near the highs of last month in or, uh, effort to tap into the adrenaline charge rush that lured retail investors into so-called meme stocks. He also bought $1 million in AMC Entertainment Holdings Inc. and a further $1 million in silver. The GameStop position is now worth just $2 million, Sun said. He says, I think I'm going to hold. Even if I lose money on GameStop, I still believe this is a paradigm shift. In the past, we all followed the advice from the financial analysts, and these days, people are going to make their own decisions. The price of GameStop has since plunged from a peak of $483 to around $50. Why we say, do not chase the pump. Do not chase the pump. You will get wrecked. The billionaires will take all of your money. Find those suppressed assets. ECB's Lagarde says central bank holding Bitcoin is out of the question. The ECB president gives the impression that central banks will avoid copying institutions and hoarding cryptocurrency. Yes, the other day, she mentioned that Bitcoin was partaking in quote-unquote bunny business, talking about money laundering, when the banks themselves have laundered the most money out of anybody. It makes no sense. The head of the European Central Bank thinks that central banks worldwide will not be holding Bitcoin anytime soon. In the conference call with The Economist on February 10th, Lagarde showed herself to be firmly risk-off when it came to decentralized cryptocurrencies. She says, it's very unlikely. I would say it's out of the question. She responded when asked about central bank Bitcoin uptake. Lagarde has long derided Bitcoin, which has surged at a time when ECB prints huge amounts of liquidity in an attempt to shore up its financial jurisdiction after a year of government-imposed lockdowns. It's my opinion that they will not be using Bitcoin, but they will most likely be using a currency like XLM since they are starting to issue stable coins and have been tapped on the shoulder by Ukraine to do just that. German banks are also using XLM. So I think it would be wise to look into Stellar Lumens as it appears to me that that's what the central bank digital currencies will most likely be issued on. Next up, got Amazon job postings hint at digital payments project to launch in Mexico. Amazon has been silently working on a new digital currency project in Mexico according to the company's job posting. American e-commerce giant Amazon is developing a new service that will allow its customers to shop using digital currency according to the company's job postings. Again, Amazon, Visa, Mellon, Tesla, Apple, all in the same week. Why would they wait to do this all in the same week? Do you think this could be coordinated? Most likely. This is where you will see maximum hype. And it's going to be hard to say exactly what the narrative may be when we start to get close to $50,000 plus, what will essentially bring a correction and then spawn alt season. 
Right now, we are starting to see glimpses of it with crazy gains in certain currencies. So find those suppressed assets. You can make a fortune. Next up, will Amazon's new CEO embrace crypto? Andy Jassy built a blockchain service on AWS, but was skeptical of the technology's ability to address the company's biggest issues. So Jassy, huge into blockchain, just like Gary Gensler, the new SEC head, also very into cryptocurrency, talked about XRP in his MIT class that he teaches. All of these guys now are coming into the picture that are going to be carrying and waving the cryptocurrency flag and thus enabling the rest of the US and most likely the world to get into cryptocurrency. This is all by design. This has been the plan all along, in my opinion. So with that being said, that will do it for this edition of the Encrypted Capital Recap. If you guys like what you heard, drop us a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you all in the next video.